Step 3. Navigating in the Project In this movie, we will go through the project structure and the major components of the example project. This way, you will have an overview of what you'll be achieving by the end of this training guide. Now let's open two more ARCHICAD palettes, since we will use these frequently to speed up our work while doing the exercises of this interactive training guide. First, open the Trace and Reference palette from the window, Palettes menu. Place this palette next to the toolbox on the left side of your screen. The Trace and Reference function will help you coordinate the various views, plans, sections, elevations, etc. in your design project. Further explanation will be presented in the next chapter of this guide. Now, open the Favorites palette from the same menu. Place it below the Trace and Reference palette. Favorites are pre-configured virtual building elements. You can save the element settings of any frequently used building elements into Favorites for later use. We will use Favorites to considerably speed up the completion of the training exercises. Feel free to resize the main floor plan window in the palettes. Now let's switch to the view map of the navigator where you can see the main structure of the Macero project. Open the Macero house folder. This reveals the hierarchical structure of folders within the view map. You can see that there are views grouped by the chapters of the ARCHICAD BIM interactive training guide. We will always use preset views located in the folders named after the chapters we are working on at the time. Activate the 1.1 Ground Floor Plan preset view located in the Chapter 1 folder. This displays the floor plan. The scale, zoom factor, layer combinations and other settings are restored based on the settings stored for the view. Hold down the middle mouse button or scroll wheel. As you can see, the cursor turned into a hand symbol at the very moment you push the button. This means that you've entered the pan mode. When you move the mouse while holding down the middle button, you can drag the view around in the window. Practice planning a couple of times to familiarize yourself with it. Now let go of the button and start turning the scroll wheel. As you can see, you can use the mouse's scroll wheel to quickly zoom in and out of any part of the current window. When zooming, the project will zoom in and out such that the position where the mouse cursor is located stays in place. Now, take advantage of these easy-to-use navigating tools and perform some zooming and panning to practice them. These functions are available in all viewpoints of the project for fast and easy navigation. Let's try it out. Activate the 1.2 Generic Perspective preset view located in the Chapter 1 folder. The 3D window is opened and the 3D model of the project is generated. Here you can pan and zoom the same way as you did in the floor plan window. Now hold down the shift key on your keyboard and also hold down your mouse's middle button or scroll wheel. The mouse cursor changes to a different cursor shape. By moving the mouse you will see that this is how you can freely rotate the model around in 3D. Do some orbiting to get a general idea of how to do it. The model always rotates around the point that is located in the middle of the 3D window, so you can pan the model and orbit around any desired point. This way, you can move around the model as if you were moving on the surface of a sphere. Spend some time familiarizing yourself with the zooming, panning, and orbiting in 3D, and practice combining these. The 3D project view is also an integrated representation of the virtual building. All the changes you do in the 3D window will be immediately reflected in all other views of the project. The benefits are clear. You save time and can ensure complete coordination between documents. Now activate the 1.3 section preset view located in the Chapter 1 folder. A section view opens up. Sections, elevations, and interior elevations are generated based on their marker placed on a floor plan. They can be set to be regenerated automatically every time you open their viewpoint. Any change you make to the model on any of the viewpoints will be carried forward automatically to all other model viewpoints. 
Further, they will be refreshed to show the latest state of the project. For example, if you change a wall in a section, the change will be shown on the floor plan, in other sections, elevations, in the 3D views, etc. Select any wall in the section and click the Settings dialog button in the info box. When any element is selected, the info box shows its settings, such as elevation, height, thickness, and so on. When you enter the settings dialog, you can see all these settings arranged into logical panels within the dialog. You can change the settings of any element here in the settings dialog, or you can select elements and modify them in the appropriate field of the info box. Now leave the wall settings dialog by pressing escape on your keyboard, or click the cancel button in the dialog. Activate the 1.4 window list preset view located in the Chapter 1 folder. An interactive list comes up showing a list of windows that were created in the project. This list is based on the model of the project and always reflects the latest state of the project. It's interactive, which means that if something is changed here, the changes will be reflected in all other viewpoints. The benefits are clear. You save time and are assured complete coordination between all the project views and documents.